Welcome to the Dog and Balls Network. My name is Boogie Bentley, joined by Coach J, Coach Rice. Get on up, get that cup of coffee, because it is game day. Y'all going to need a lot of caffeine today. It is a late kickoff, 745, 745 kickoff for a glorified scrimmage. I hope you guys are awake. I hope you guys are ready for this football game, because it is going to be a long day getting ready for kickoff. Here's the deal. If you've never been a part of this channel, welcome to the Talking Balls Network. Coach Jay, coach a little football out there on the West Coast. He happens to focus on defense. Coach Rice coaches a little football here in Tennessee, and he focuses on offense. So we're going to get their keys to the game. We're going to get a scout on Kent State. Yeah, I, I get it. It's a glorified scrimmage, but they are still going to scout this opponent. Tennessee opened the week as a 47 and a half point favorite. Uh, the last time I saw they were favored by 49, it could have even gone up since then. Kent State's not a very good football team. They lost to Pitt, 55-24. to 24. They lost to St. Francis. I asked you guys on Wednesday night, can anybody tell me where St. Francis is at? Coach Rice is the only person on the planet that knew, that he knew where they were at. They lost. They lost to St. Francis, 23-17. They're scoring 20 and a half points a game. That's good for 107th in the country. Defensively, they're giving up almost 40 points a game. 126th in the country. Kent State is terrible. It's a bad football team. We're going to play a lot of players. we got to stay healthy, and then we're going to start focusing on Oklahoma. But I want to get the scout from these guys. I want to get their keys to the game. But first and foremost, I need you guys to do that YouTube stuff for me. Smash the thumbs up just below the video. It's quick, free, easy. It helps the channel. I would appreciate it. Also, if it's your first time here, you know the deal by now. I'm not an expert. I'm not an ins insider. None of us are reporters or journalists maybe they know a little bit more about football than i do that's why we're doing this video uh but if you like what we do here make sure you guys subscribe it's for the fans by the fans die hard psychotic passionate tennessee fans hit that subscribe button hit that bell for notifications you're not going to miss out when we go live or when we drop a video we're going to be doing a tailgate show an hour before kickoff as of the time of this record we're either going to be doing a post game show or a watch party i'm not sure get dialed in you guys will know what's coming your way we're going to do a day after video in the morning fan call in show tomorrow night all kinds of fun stuff but let's get into it let's talk about kent state kent well hold on can anybody in the room right now <laughs> kent state what what is their mascot anyone go to yeah no. as you said i know their names the I, I'm, I, I got a one I, I don't have a life it is what i need. Neither one of you all have a life. It's and depressing, and we just sit around and watch film. We watch football all day. We yeah, that's... We're living the dream. I ain't yeah. going to lie. I ain't going to lie. I gave both these guys an out. I said, just read some articles and let's do it. They're like, nope, I'm watching all the tape. Let's get into it. Coach Rice, break down what we're going to see uh, uh, tonight. Tonight, it's game day tonight from this uh, Kent State. What are they again? The Golden Flashes. The Golden Flashes. What are they going to give us on offense tonight? Well, all right, so – Offensively, um, they're very multiple. Uh, they're going to line up most of the time in spread, though. Uh, a lot of inside zone, a lot of outside zone. Uh, they're not – their offensive line struggled through the first two weeks. They're not very good. Um, they're they're going to try to get it to the perimeter to a couple uh, wide receivers, uh, Luke Florier and Krishan McCray. Um, those, those are really their two main playmakers. Uh, Florier's got a pretty good average per reception, so um, someone that we're going to have to look out for in the secondary, but I don't think they're really going to have time because of our defense. Um, and then running back, their main guy is Kai Thomas, uh, senior running back. Uh, pretty good, but the offensive line struggling the way it is. Um, I don't see much. That they'll, like, they'll move him all over the field uh, with their motions and stuff, so that's one thing. you got to track down where he is and their wide receivers. Uh, their quarterback's a senior. He's waited his time. He's uh, uh, been sitting behind another QB. His name's Devin Cardman. Uh, he's thrown three touchdowns and two interceptions. Um, and through the first two weeks without much, uh, you know, they played Pitt. So not very good uh, against who they've played. I think Tennessee's defense is going to bring it and cause chaos for him. And, uh, again, like I said, their offensive line is not very good. And so I think the keys – I mean, the the scout against them is their offense is just very – they don't have an identity. And so now we're going to get to Coach Jay and the defensive side of the ball. 
Yeah, I mean, pe people can get mad at me for calling this a glorified scrimmage. They're just not a good football team. But I, I appreciate you guys going on the grind, doing the work, telling us what to look for on Saturday. Coach Jay, what is this uh, – what are they called again? The Golden Flashes. Golden Flashes, Golden Flashes going to bring to the table – on defense uh sure they uh <laughs> their base defense is the boogie special baby that old oh. school four three defense uh but they do you know they do transfer into some nickels uh four two five looks that is uh some dime but but most of the time they like running that four three base certainly on first and second down then they'll usually switch to nickel after uh for those of you who don't uh 100 percent 100% speak football. The 4-3, of course, is uh, four down linemen, uh, three linebackers, um, and then, you know, the subsequent DBs. And then you've got the nickel, which would be, you know, four down linemen, two linebackers, and five DBs. But uh, that's kind of what they like to run with the base. Their defensive line is certainly undersized, and it's going to have a lot of trouble dealing with your Lance Herds, your Sproggins. Uh, really everyone across the O-line is going to cause this team a ton of trouble. They do have a little bit of saving grace uh, when it comes to stopping the run, and that's in their linebackers. Their linebackers do have some decent size. Um, you know, they sit around mm, 6'3", 225, kind of across the board, but some slow movers too, so I certainly can see Tennessee's offense kind of picking them apart when it comes to that. But look, that D-line is a huge hole. Their DBs are nowhere near as fast as our wide receivers. Their cornerbacks are undersized against not only our our tight ends, but certainly against your your uh, Thorntons, your Brazils, your Brew McCoys. I think these wide receivers are going to eat in this game, and they run a similar, you know, scheme on passing downs with that four-two-five that our team runs. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot that this offense of ours has seen before from a defensive angle. So. Um, think we're going to be looking good, and from there we can get into our keys of the game. Inter interesting, Coach Jay, talking about Tennessee is going to be bigger. They're just going to be bigger, bigger, bigger faster, stronger bigger. than Kent State. And, and something, listening to pancakes and bacon this week, me and Coach Jay were talking right before we recorded this video. Love me some some Kyler and Reed. They do a great job over there at Rocky Top Insider. we got to get those guys back. I want to bring them back, have another show with them. Love what they bring to the table. And, and, you know, something that's been a conversation out there is you want to play a lot of guys this week, right? And, mm -hmm. you know, you're not necessarily going to put Gaston Moore in on the third series, but we saw in that Chattanooga game, Larry Johnson come in and play that left tackle yep. position. And what happened? We see Nico take a low shot at the knees and we all gasp. Yep. It's going to be interesting to see how Josh Heupel manages that. So, yeah, we may be bigger, faster, stronger, but do you trust putting in Larry Johnson? Do you trust putting in William Satterwhite if Nico's taking the snaps, or do you just roll with your starting five? I want you guys out there, the audience. I tell these two, I said last week, this is weird, because I just want to throw questions at you guys every time you make a point. So I want you guys to put it in the comment section. Would you trust Larry Johnson? Would you trust William Satterwhite with the five-star golden goose out there at quarterback? Jump in the comment section. Let's get into some keys to the game. Uh, Coach Rice, other than showing up, what does Tennessee need to do on Saturday night? Tonight. Well, my main key is don't make Coach Heupel hype you up. Don't make it be him. Be Use that veteran leadership in your locker room, in your program, and take this game as if it's Alabama. That's my first and main key. You have to show up as if you are you had Alabama across the field from you. Um, second key, it's the old coach, you know, point that fans hate hearing, stay healthy. Uh, there's a chance of rain. I know Wednesday through Saturday, I think it's supposed to clear out by Saturday night, but I don't want Nico out there uh, late in the first, first half and getting hurt when the game's over with because it's wet and, there, you know, that it's just not a good – uh, thing to do when you're up by 35 nothing. Get get Nico his time. Get him up 35 nothing, and get him out. Uh, hopefully midway through the second quarter, let Gaston Moore, let Jake Merklinger, let Navy Schuler all get some get some run, and then let the young guys eat. That's my second main key. Let Braylon Staley, let Mike Matthews, let uh, Nathan Leacock, let uh, Ethan Davis, let 
Peyton Lewis, Khalifa Keith, um, all those young offensive linemen. Let them get some run on the offensive side of the ball. And then all your young secondary, Adrian Farouk, Caleb Beasley, um, all them, uh, Jordan Burns, Edwin Spillman, let them get some run at the linebacker. And then the last and third key, use the pass game early. Get that confidence and chemistry back where you have from the Chattanooga game. Not saying we aren't confident, but I I want us to see both sides of uh, the offense run game and pass game being explosive going into the Oklahoma game the next week. Those are my keys to the game. You're on mute. I'm muted. I'm not Coach Rice. <laughs> it wasn't me. Bleeding, bleeding into me here. I, I love something that Coach Rice said there is the veteran leadership. I, I think guys like Coop and Spragans and some of these veteran guys are, are going to make sure this team's up and ready to go on Saturday against the what, – Coach, what are they called again? The golden, golden flag. flag. Uh, what are your keys to the game? And then go go ahead and roll right into your score prediction. Me and Coach Rice both in agreement. They're getting blanked. Zeros. We got <laughs> zeros for Kent State's offense. What are your keys to the game? Give us your prediction. Yeah, key number one is uh, ace of base, guys, right? Just, just be an ace out there in your base defenses, in your base zone, in your base offense. Uh, you know, be the best at what we do. You know, we're going to keep it simple. It's going to be vanilla, but it could be a Neapolitan. We can have some chocolate and strawberry in there, too, and make it kind of tasty, even though it's vanilla. So uh, be an ace of base is is Coach Jay's uh, first theme. Uh, number two kind of has to deal with Coach Rice's note on not getting injured. And, and then it's kind of got a little twist on it, but it's line up fast and keep your head on a swivel. Uh, be a master of your tempo. When we need to go slow, go slow. When we need to line up fast, Line up fast, and that doesn't only go for the offense. This team likes to run hurry up in a quick offense. It times themselves. So I want to see the defense get into position fast, uh, and that will allow you to kind of play those assignments, that base defense, what we talked about. From a very specific note, before I get to my final note, the linebackers. Uh, this team will put linebackers in conflict a little. We saw that got us in trouble last year. Um, I am looking at you a little bit, Herring, on that. Um I don't want to see us get in conflicts. Know your assignment. Pass your pass your wide receivers off to the zone. If you have running back out of the backfield, get to that flat right away. And know your assignment. Um, my third and final note for the game is just have fun, man. Just If I'm the Tennessee's coaches, I want my team to play loose, play fancy. I want to tighten up the bolts even more than the weeks before and have a lot of fun. And what's more fun? Than winning and whacking a team, man. Nothing's more fun than that. Give us that official score prediction. What's your prediction for tonight? Mm, Coach Jay's final prediction. I'm going 64 to nothing. That was mine. It, I was gonna say I That's thought it. that was I didn't, see yours. I, I didn't get to watch the end of your guys's right now because I um was looking for my right, trash can. That's a separate that's a separate story uh for another time. I just assumed that somebody was roboting and somebody's camera wasn't working and the audio wasn't dialed in. I assume that's why you turned it off. I would have turned it off too. Those are your keys to the game. That's what to look for out of this Kent State. What are they called again? The The Golden golden Flashes. The Golden Flashes. That's what to watch for tonight. We're going to be live tonight an hour before kickoff. Get dialed in for that fan call in show. You guys get to come on and run the show. I'm really leaning towards a towards a watch party tonight. We're recording this on Wednesday night. Spoiler alert. We're either going to do a watch party or we're going to do a post-game show. We will let you guys know. By the time we get to the tailgate show, you will know what we are doing. So make sure you're tuned in, dialed in, and ready to go for that. But for Coach Jay, for Coach Rice, my name's Boogie Bentley. This is the Talking Balls Network. What's your prediction? Put it in the chat. Go Big Orange.